Hello and welcome to this special conversation. Equip.com is the new age paradigm for social media platform with a measurable social impact. And we are here with Mr. Sudhakar Penam, who's going to share his ideas, his opinions and his plans of associating with Equip.com. Mr. Sudhakar Penam is a non-resident Indian uh, residing in Dallas and he has already been part of social change through IT serve he's one of the founder members and he's right now member of the governing body mr sudhakar penam very happy to have you with us and so uh, the obvious question equip.com uh, when you associated with it what was your first thought your first reaction to it uh, we uh, collectively being in an uh, organization called it serve and uh, collective ceos network were at a stage once we have achieved in, in our business success and all we want to give back to the society and when we want to give back to society either in the mainstream in US or in India when we want to come back to give or we want to uh, have to give to our motherland in the past many organizations in many instances people came people asked people explained us and certain projects certain projects which we liked which we didn't like and certain projects we liked and we funded but we haven't seen the results coming back to us or results we haven't seen the result whether it has been done or no no clarity no visibility right no transparency yes even though those some of them are through the government channels and government projects and semi Parsi governments but we haven't seen the end result and we have no clarity and visibility about the funding and the projects what we committed to and what we want to contribute so to. how did that make you and a lot of enthusiastic you know people that want to bring in ideas and bring in actual change how did it make you all feel the lack of transparency and visibility did it shut you off somewhat or did it make you start looking out for a better platform we we know there is need and we know that collect, uh, individually we can't do sitting in far away in far from our home country to ground reality to see what exactly need to be done and how much it need to be measured and how much we need to fund and all. So we were looking for some reliable channel, reliable organization, reliable platform, a short platform where we can blog, where we can interact, where we can uh, discuss and then collectively go back and uh, work with this, the reliable, reliable organization which can take it to the ground reality and do the need, uh, do, do complete the need. So how do you think Equip.com will address some of the concerns you've had in the past? Uh, this is digital age. In, in this digital age, uh, previously, if we need, we need to make some phone calls, we need to communicate through emails, and we need to uh, uh, put a lot of efforts, send people, and get the ground reality news. Now, with this digital age, on the web, on the social platforms, we keep coming to know a lot of things which are being normally, uh, it is not easy for us to know something going on what what is a ground reality for example in Kerala we can't go we can't see what's happening but there is a lot of need there, there are people who are from Kerala or who are not from but about non Kerala also want to give but we don't know where how through whom what is the real re reliable channel to do we are anticipating equip.com will fill the gap Equip.com will uh, uh, exchange and will gather the info or gather or collectively people discuss over there, blog over there, discuss over there, and then the real uh, project, pre real project uh, sponsor might come from there, and where everyone else, like a crowdsource or crowdfunding, can fund the project and make impact for the real need of the society. So ideas, information validation 
and then status update. Exactly. All of them are going to be available henceforth exactly. uh, on equip.com yes. when people like yourself, how many people do you have like yourself, uh, Mr. Sudhakar? We have an organization called ITSA which I mentioned. Right now we have 1000 CEOs where uh, our combined revenue of our organization is over $6 billion and we have offices across India and we have offices across US. Our combined employees will be over 100,000 and not only the 1000 CEOs, there are some employees also who will be interested to contribute, who are interested to uh, participate in these projects to, uh, which relates to their motherland or which relates to some uh, other, some other projects the, also, other some projects. to the their own cities and their own villages, some based on the need, they, it might impact them and then they might even interested to contribute and participate and collaborate with equip.com. This need to be part of social change, need to be part of a big paradigm shift in the society, how does that emerge at, at an individual level? I mean, we can address it through Maslow's need hi hierarchy, where you know we've all settled in our own, you know, lives and businesses, yes. and then there is a need to go higher and be part of something larger in life. So, how do you describe this need? And when you have interacted with like-minded individuals, what is the one insight that came out? Once, uh, f for any human being, after reaching to a certain success in the growth and in the business, then next comes how to give, how to connect, how to give back to the society. And uh, knowing or unknowingly, I'm not sure, but in the past one decade, that giving back to the society increased. Right. But at the same time, or it might be there before, but with that social media and digital platforms, uh, been so aggressive, the people who are giving and people who need both are coming up onto the web in much more huge and bigger volumes. Right. And with that, uh, people get touched and people want to do and when they want to do, they don't have the validation whether that particular specific project is right, whether we need to do or no. Day in, day out, we keep receiving tons of GoFundMe requests right. asking that something happened and it will be a forward and a forward and a forward and if we go back and check and ask the person who forwarded it, they have no clue. They don't know they about say, the source. They say we got forward and we got forward. But somewhere a validated portal and like equip which is validating, which is discussing, which is uh, uh, blogging endorsing. and endorsing then that will help the people who really want to contribute and who really want to donate and connect. There are some uh, uh, portals not just collecting but not just uh, gathering info, they even connect people to the real needy but in a very small volume. We are anticipating with Equip this will be in a humongous way it can do a lot much but it connect with many people across the globe in many projects where the need is really huge. You've actually nailed it yep. you know in terms of uh, of answering how equip.com addresses some of the concerns of people yes. who want to invest who want to be part of this shift yes. and bring about this change. Yes. Uh, interestingly the recent uh, book that created a sensation social value investing has somewhat bridge the gap between individual needs and the society's needs where uh, uh, Mr. Buffett has addressed of, uh, issues about how you can bridge the gap and bring about a common purpose where you can yourself benefit and the society at large can benefit. There is no separation act as such. What did you have to feel about, say about that? Uh, the, the Ford Foundation chairman talking about Buffett and Emiki says reminds us, he says that both of them reminds us individually we cannot bring a change and they need to be a collectively with hum, uh, more number of people and a number of huge uh, crowd platform needed and uh, we, I'm anticipating with based on that book and the comments of uh, Ford chairman, Equip will fill the gap and Equip will uh, help people to 
who want to contribute, who want to donate, who want to give back to the society, and then it which it will reach the needy in the in the right way and in the true right. sense. And uh, as we conclude, can you tell tell us a little bit about your association with Mr. Ramakrishna, the managing director of Both Tree, which is powering Equip.com? Uh, I met Ramakrishna four years back on uh, in a small need of ours in uh, business sense, and then uh, since four years we have been associated. I don't feel that uh, we are just a four years friend, but I feel that we are more than a decade or two decades keep interacting with him daily on business senses but at the same time these kind of uh, concepts these kind of ideas through ram krishna when it came it got touched i got touched and i thought that i need to interact more i need to get connected i need to see and i thought that i need to even give back to equip and to give back to the society through equip in i, I anticipate we can do huge and humongous to equip that. Brilliant and uh, Mr. Sudhakar Penam, thank you so much. Like thank they say, you. great minds think alike and for great minds to think alike, there is one platform which is going to be available very soon, which is equip.com with a measurable social impact. Thank you Mr. Sudhakar Penam for joining us and speaking with us. Thank you.